putting in the work in this next 10 minute workout. Power training is basic wide front starts. Everything is alternating this track. Heavy left hook now. Right side, downward strikes, uppercut left, downward strikes, uppercut right. Hit it again, left side and right side. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Now you've got the timing, let's just focus on precision. I love that beat. Ba, 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 two on the left, alternate, two on the right. Do that again. Try and lean forward on the downward strikes. So you're staying in that wide front stance, but crunch and lean forward, like you're doing ground and pound, yep. Strike downwards, hit the shoulders, hit the back, hit the core, hit the legs. Now we're gonna speed things up. Quick squat, sky punch above your head, go. Power left hook, power right hook, downstairs. Left and right, squat. Stand up, left and right. Yes, excellent. Now try and rotate the knuckles forward on these punches. That's gonna take the elbow slightly to the outside. It's gonna work more muscles in the upper part of the shoulders. Come on, breathe out. Heavy strike, big rotation. Stay down, crunch abs, stand up. I like to stand up on that uppercut. It just forces the shoulder to rotate slightly forward. It brings the hip and the heel through the center line, keeping the forearm in line with the center of the chest. Go. Boom. Ooh, did you feel it? That should feel absolutely amazing. Hit it down, lean forward, up. Come on, now, now these ones. On those two center stand-up jabs, make these speed ones. So try and get a fast retraction. Quick punch, quick punch. I say quick retraction, really what I mean is you wanna bring your hands directly back to a high guard position. Tuck your chin in, stay focused. We're gonna get fast again. We're gonna get fast again. That squat wall's coming with a sky punch. Here it comes. Get out the way, stand up, power hooks. Downstairs, upstairs, squat down, stand up. Excellent. Give it your everything now. It's with intention, it is with purpose, it is with focus. You've decided to do this fitness app because you wanted to work out and you want to enjoy yourself. Take the opportunity, nail it, go. How'd you do, how you feeling? Strong, ready to go again? All right then, let's go. Big right hook. Let's apply everything Dan's just taught us to the second half of this workout. So can you turn your body into those hooks? And can you feel the power coming out of the hip when you launch your uppercut? Launch it. Through that gap in the ceiling, go. Four, two jabs. So let's try to go heavy on the downward punches and light and fast on the jabs. That's it. Down, up. So lift your elbows, bend your knees. Drive down into the ground. Then get some fighting space. Yeah, you got it. And coming. We're going down, up, real fast. Throw it off your shoulders. Throw it up. Boom. Turn the hip. Get low. Punch through. No cheating on these squats, eh? Yeah, I, I can't see you, but I know. Round about now, your legs are getting tired. It's that, it's that tired feeling that makes you want to quit. But what you got to do is you got to fight through that tired feeling because I'm going to give you a breather right now. Ready? Okay, slow it down. Two hooks. Work the body. Well done. You got through. We're launching back with the uppercuts. Shake the legs off. Well done. Breathe. Inhale, exhale. Hey. Just like that, you made it through those hard, big squats. Suck the air out of you. That's what training's about. We're gonna multiply the downward punches. Let's go for four. Let's go. Let's release some stress, peeps. Let's get some stress off your shoulders. We're busting moves. We're gonna sit into the legs. We're gonna lift the elbows. We're gonna drive down and then punch from the hip. We're gonna dab on it. We're gonna dab through it. We're gonna put our name on that dab. Back to the legs, you got this people, let's go! Ay. Call it the second win, call it the winning streak, whatever it is. Ay. 
Imagine throwing some weight off your shoulders when you double sky punch. Get it off you. Get it off you. Good job. I see blue target. I see the finish. Punched it. Boom. I think the freedom comes from the power in the punches and a lot of love in the legs. Left combat stance, we're gonna start. One jab and cross, uppercut left, uppercut right. Great. Left side, right side. We're not gonna be moving with too much speed here. We're gonna be focused on control. So we want great alignment and range in the jabs and crosses on the uppercuts because they're short range strikes. Bring the elbows close to the rib cage and then rotate the shoulders inwards and then upwards. Now get ready, a little slip to your right. Oh, one jab, one cross, one upper, one slip. Tuck the chin in and just move your upper body out the way. Keep your feet where they are. Great. Little speed now. Slipping, now hooking, squatting, stand up and hook with the back arm. Let's do that again. Left, right and left. Slip right and left. Left hook, get out the way and hook on the right. Base level combo. If you're doing this right now, you've pretty much mastered everything you need to know about this track, apart from the squat challenge that's coming up pretty soon. Alrighty. So, it's coming into a nice wide front stance. We're gonna sit down in the squat for a long time. Let's go. Left jab, right jab, stay down in the squat. Now drop down both hands out to the side and drop down and out to the side. One left, one right. Keep your chest lifted. And every time you strike, do your very best to not let the knees buckle. So I like to push my knees out towards my little toes. You've got that rhythm going on now. That's it. Quick, 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 quick. Awesome. Ha. I know the legs are starting to bite. It's starting to burn. Come on, brace your abs. Keep the chest lifted. Now stand up. Put your left leg forward quickly. Jab cross up. Slip right and left. Hook left, squat down, stand up, hit right. What was that? I'm still sweating and I've got jelly legs from that long squat. So use this time now just to re-energize because you know you're gonna have to do it all on the other side. I love this exercise. It feels really great. One, two, one, and two. We're creating a little bit of flow, heart rate before we transition. Come on, let's get the heart rate up now. Change side. Spoiler alert, the good stuff happens in the back half. Let's go. Right foot forward. We're gonna power these jabs and these uppercuts. Where do you put your shoulders? You put them behind every punch. And the way you do that is by transferring the weight from the front leg and the back leg. Roll it in and out. Roll the big knuckle over and then slip out the way. Slip into the left, dropping the right shoulder forward, crunching through the core, transferring the weight. Practice over, people. Let's add some speed and get smooth with that combo. One, two, three. Slip, slip. Now hook and duck. Left arm. Well done. If it feels like you're dancing with these punches, then you're getting it right. A little tip with the slip is keep your eyes up and your chin in. The reason you do that is so that you don't get knocked out by a next attack. Last one. Okay, right, let's go front stands. What's coming next? What's coming? Ooh, goody, a wall, a really long wall. Get down. Let's throw some jabs. So your knees are out, your chest is up, you're taking a big breath. T-punch, battle rope. And again, this is us, peeps. I know this is going to be some heat building in the lower body, but we're not here forever. It just feels like it. If it feels tough, then let's get tough. Let's get through this. You can do anything. It's even in the song lyrics. There's freedom at the end of this wall. Get up, people. Right leg forward. Three punches. 
dance the shoulders. Slip, slip, hook and duck. How good does it feel to come out of your legs? So good, so good. Well done, we're almost to the end. On that last uppercut, see if you can use your legs and drive out of the floor. Like really come up and launch it. Hey, Nice, nice. There's freedom at the end of this with a big blue target. Time. You must have the headset charged fully because you have not stopped. Someone loves this. Putting in the work in this next 10 minute workout.